What's like your headspace right now? It's like it's like a so close but so far away kind of deal where you you back this this woman into a corner now. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to go. Yeah. And yet it's not just. What is that like? Talk about that. Uh, it hurts. It it, it hurts um, in a good way. I'm hungry. You ever been hungry? But dinner isn't out of reach. You just gotta get to it, fix it, or you you didn't eat for weeks but you knew at some point you was going to the buffet yeah and all of the buffet got all your favorite foods you understand what i'm saying like i'm just hoping yeah. i can paint that picture yeah, i'm yeah, seeing yeah. a guy in the woods stuck um for three four weeks yeah. and they know after they as long as they survive yeah and they stay strong they're going to the buffet you know yeah. um a part of it is like you know what i have a strong belief in god and and and, and many people might not have the same religion that i do i just believe in him it's worth the wait. That's all I'm gonna say. He's making me wait. He's making me work. He has made me be committed. He's allowed me to keep going. He's allowed me to stay injury free. He's allowed me. To, he gave me the strength to overcome any adversity to be here. Yeah. Last year I was somewhere else. The year before that I was somewhere else, and now I'm here. I'm a step closer. So I will soon go to that buffet. It's gonna have spaghetti, uh, 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 um, 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 grilled chicken. Um, uh, chicken balsam, like it's, it's gonna have all my favorite foods, calamari, lobster, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the buffet. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be this month, next month, but I'm going. Can't dress the same. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. You look fucking great in the last one. You think so? You look great. I gave myself like a D, D minus. Honestly, it's like, am I forcing the knockout? Like, am I? Out there fighting forcing it because I know that this is what my record displays So I go away from a sense of having fun and just letting it come to me and showing my skills, you know um, As I look back on the fight at first I was grading myself high like I did alright I still was dominant but now it's like I could have did so many things better that I get mad at I don't even want to watch the fight anymore And um, I could tell I'm growing because I'm coming in the gym and I'm working on it I'm staying conscious of it so everybody's used to one thing, but like I, I don't know if I said this to you before, but I'm more in love with my skill set than I am my power. Right. That's a fact that like I love my skill set, my ring IQ, my defense way more than I love my power. So in that fight, it looked like I was more in love with my power. And that bothers me. That was a different element. That was me going forward, showing people that I had a high guard. Yeah. But um, it's only gonna get better, I promise. Like it's a lot of stuff that I could have done different. I'm trying to leave it behind me now because it's like a thorn in my side. Really? That much? <laughs> yeah, man. I, That's I'm, crazy I'm, to me. I'm, I'm chasing greatness, man. I really am. If she hard on herself, imagine me. I'm going to be always extra hard on her. You know, I always expect nothing but greatness from her. She's a really talented girl. Um, she can punch, you know what I mean? And I got to give that girl Curry a little bit more credit than what people are giving her. You know what I mean? Because she took some shots that. Usually some girls are, you know what I mean, fall. You know what I mean? She she took a lot of shots. With Deja, you're not you're not hitting her with two or three shots in the world. Her defense is really good. You know what I mean? She's very good defense, good counterpuncher. So with Curry, I just give her credit. She's a tough girl, but you know what I mean? If they was to fight again, I don't think it's gonna last. No way. There's and you no way. you were happy with the performance. Yeah, yeah, it's good that she could finally get some right ten rounds in, you know what I mean? Usually, Man, when she fights, man, I get to go to sleep early, you know what I mean, go to bed early. I can't be satisfied, you know, with it. I'm glad I went 10 rounds, though. Yeah? Yeah. Nice little dress rehearsal. Yeah, definitely. For Savannah, Clarissa, it's a good dress rehearsal. Oh, you might get with me. You're right there. I did. Has anything been different for you as a as a person or as a fighter since you've been on with MVP on, on some of these undercards on these bigger platforms where people like me, the, the fans have been able to kind of discover who you are a little mm -hmm. bit more. 
Of course, I mean, when I come to fights and uh, the different promoters and I see the different in interviews and even with that last fight, a lot of people were saying the same thing you were saying, like, yo, she dominated, like, and how I, you know, somewhat of the way I walk around, a lot more people, I don't have to introduce myself as much as I used to before, um, but that's not something that goes to my head. I still like to introduce myself. Um, I'm a cool soul, so... Uh, I look forward to it, it getting greater. Um, Jake Paul is probably one of the most um, prominent, dominant people in the sport in the sense of the entertainment spectrum and, and what he brings to the table as far as fans. Even if you hate him, you buying the ticket to show up. Dallas was crazy. I kept saying to myself, why are all these people here, here right now? Like, it, they got five or six more fights to the main event. At least the co-main event with Amanda Serrano, who's a legend. So um, I'm glad that, that that fight happened with such a, a, a entertainment, a entertaining base, a, a fan base, an audience out of this world. I've never fought in front of that many people. I was looking up the stands, up the stands, up the stands. It was people up there, so it couldn't have happened any time sooner. But what he says it, I mean, he um, after he watches the other super middleweights, and he'll say to me, like, it's clear that I have the most talented super middleweight in the female division, so um, Jake Paul is, uh, takes a special person to know another special person, so I'd say he's pretty special in my book. So, we've talked about, you know, the last time I was here, there was a different undisputed champ in your weight class. Yeah. Kind of John Cruz does aren't. Yes. She's not the one anymore. She's not the one anymore. It's Savannah Marshall. It's Savannah Marshall. And she seems a little bit more interested and willing to fight you, and yet there's this rumor that maybe she's going to do MMA against Clarissa Shields. There's a lot of different information coming out. What what are you, what are you aware of? Well, from what I know, um, it, it seemed like that when when the fight between them two were, you know, heating up in uh, the, the, the 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 press conference, uh, she made a couple of statements in my favor, which I was thrilled with. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that she's rushing to fight me. Uh, I think that um, they want to try and line up that rematch with Clarissa Shields because on that business aspect, it makes money. But Which it does. It does, but so do we. Because now everybody wants to see Shadeja Green versus Savannah Marshall. They, they, people are understanding what's going on with Shadeja Green. They know I'm being outcasted. They know I'm being avoided. They know that it's been my turn. It's been my turn for so many terms now. So, um... With the PFL, I know that that's supposed to run concurrent with her boxing career. She could probably, possibly not fight in the PFL until 2025. However, she is stating that she won't be fighting for the rest of the calendar year because of the, the injury. Um, I plan to stay busy, stay focused, and do nothing to negate me having my opportunity to fight for those titles because I've earned it. I'm ranked number one in all the sanctioned bodies, even the Ring Magazine. I'm ranked number one. It's like... The longer they make me wait, the hardest it's going to be for them to beat me and dethrone me. You know, it's kind of like my butt moment. You know, I'm just being like consistently like. See, like the only person that is interested in really fighting me, I, I will give credit to her is Clarissa Shields. Fortunately, Clarissa Shields is 160. I'm reigning in 168. It's my time. I want my titles at 168, and then we can make it happen after that. So, as far as the fight with Savannah, it's really just. Her saying she's interested, as opposed to any yeah, it's logistics really just, actually yes. being put together. Yes, um, my team was doing a great job of reaching out, see what's going on. But from the last that I heard, she was injured and had to have surgery and rehab, and she'll be ready after that. But again, I don't want anything to negate away from me going to London to fight Savannah Marshall for the undisputed Super Bowl world title. I don't know what else I got to do? What else I got to prove? You know. What did you think of her? Are you impressed by her? Yeah, she got she uh, she's got some she got some good skills. Um, she I believe she has heart. Um, and what I like about her is she has the will to make the adjustment to win the fight. You gotta be cautious of a fighter like that. In the middle of the fight, if something is not working, she can take the directions from her coach and transport it into the ring and make the the, the necessary adjustment to win that moment, that night, that fight. Um, she her record says she has the power. I I, I love to get near and you know give her a shot to try to hit me you know um but i look i, I look forward to that matchup i think it's going to be a great fight
just to finally get to see the opportunity present itself, it, it's, it's a dream come true. Well, a part, a part of it, you know. Of course, the rest is uh, me going in there, handling my business, but that's still even a step closer to what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I love it. I love every moment. I love everything. The thrill, the nervousness. I, I, I love everything about, you know, me stepping into the ring with a franchise group. Is, is, do you have any sense of when that fight is going to be, or has it kind of changed, like, the urgency with which you're, you're training? Um, I know I can't really say when the date that's talked about, but it's some things in the world, and um, we're a step closer to finalizing some stuff, so it's definitely happening. That'll be a 2023. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's enough. That's yeah. enough. That's all we need. What's that feeling gonna be like when you finally got a belt around your waist? It's your fucking belt. A step closer to a dream come true. You know, it's a part of the dream. It's a piece of the chess match. But um, I'm I'm looking to put on a devastating show. It's time. Please. Spence Bud. Uh, I don't. I. I, I don't want to disparage Spence's uh, bravery, but yeah. I don't see the point. Me honestly, I, I know that there's a contractual reason to do it, but yeah. I mean, what, what? What you? What you trying to prove? He already proved that you know he's the guy. Levels above. Yeah. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna say this. That's how my career's gonna be. You know why? Cause they waited Crawford out. They waited him. They just avoided him. They didn't acknowledge him. They didn't. He was beating people. Well, you ain't beat nobody. Uh, you you on this side of the street. You're really not that good. Your resume sucks. Who it's are always you? Always a good excuse who you fought. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And he getting there with the baddest. What people say the baddest. And and looks levels above. Watch, watch. 